10 Amazing Facts About Megalodon The Megalodon was a huge shark that dominated the seas 2.6 million years ago. Its formidable teeth made it a fear-worthy predator. Here we give you 10 shocking facts about this monster. The Biggest Fish Ever Known Since the Megalodon had a skeleton made from cartilage, only some teeth and vertebrae were fossilized. To determine their dimensions, scientists have elaborated complicated equations based on the proportion between teeth and the total size of white sharks. For example, for some scientists, the measurement of a megalodon in meters is the result of multiplying 0.096 by the height of the largest of the top teeth in millimeters and adding negative 0.22. Leaving mathematics aside, it is believed that the megalodon measured between 52 and 65 feet in length. If the most conservative estimates are true, this would be the largest fish in history, at least three times as long as the white shark. A Controversial Shark Most researchers think that the Megalodon Cacharodon belong to the same family as their cousins, the Cacharodon Cacharias, that is, the white shark. However, not everyone thinks the same. Some paleontologists believe that the Megalodon was more like the bull shark and others the basking shark. They even go further and say that the Megalodon belonged to the Carcharocles genus, a group that includes a whole series of prehistoric giant sharks such as Carcharocles auriculatus, the Carcharocles augustidens, and the Carcharocles chubatensis. All of them descendants of the Ototus obliquus shark. If you're an observer, you will notice the great resemblance, which is why this theory is gaining more followers. Cold and Dangerous Home The Megalodon lived in a period ranging from 23 to 2.6 million years during a period known as Neogene, in which the Earth was much colder than today. In spite of that, the Megalodon inhabited the oceans of the whole world except the poles. Some fossils have even been found in Denmark. Baby Megalodons inhabited the coastal areas where water was warmer, while the adults preferred to be at sea. The Baby Megalodon Female Megalodons traveled to the coastal areas to give birth. The offspring measured between 6.5 and 11 feet in length at birth. They were as long as a cow. The surface waters were the refuge where these tender creatures spent their first years. There, they learned to hunt, killing both dolphins and turtles. When they finally grew up, they moved out to the sea to eat whales. Terrifying Denture The Megalodon's deadly weapons were its triangular teeth, shaped like a saw with a thick base. The largest tooth found is 7.1 inches tall, enough to go through any human limb. In total, its mouth had 276 teeth placed in five rows. They hurt from sight! When attacking, its jaws could be opened at an angle of up to 100 degrees and a width of 2 meters. The bite strength of a Megalodon was 18 tons, five times stronger than that of the Tyrannosaur, and ten times stronger than that of the White Shark. The worst of all is that these teeth were not only made to cut, but also to hold and shake the prey. It must have been one of the worst ways to die. Wrinkled Vertebrae The Megalodon is one of the animals with more vertebrae in its skeleton. It is believed that in total they had about 200. In the vicinity of the city of Antwerp, 150 vertebrae were found, the largest of which was 6 inches wide, and in Denmark, another was found that measured 9 inches. What's more surprising is that a series of rings were engraved on the bones as the shark was growing, similar to trees. Spiral Excrement in South Carolina, a fossilized piece of metallic excrement measuring 5.5 inches was found and has a spiral shape. Therefore, it is known that the megalodon had in the digestive system an organ known as a spiral valve, a kind of concentrated intestine which helped to absorb nutrients from the food, saving space, similar to some current sharks. Predilection for Whales You must be wondering who were unfortunate enough to be bitten by the megalodon then was eaten and digested in its spiral valve? The answer is whales. Several megalodon teeth have been found near whale fossils with traces of being bitten and, what's more chilling, they fit exactly into the holes. No matter how big they were, the megalodon could attack them at a speed of 11 miles per hour. 
cruel killer. Its way of hunting varied with the white shark. In fact, it is much more terrifying. The Carcharodon carcharias only feeds on seals that are attacked from below by biting the soft areas such as the abdomen. In contrast, the Megalodon preferred to bite the parts with more bone, such as the spine or rib cage, to produce a hemorrhage and damage the internal organs. If the whale was very large, like a sperm whale, it would simply tear off the fin in a single bite. This way, it prevented its prey from escaping and only had to return to finish it off. Cannibal Predator at the end of the Pliocene, the climate began to cool down even more. It was the Ice Ages. Look at the refrigerator. When the water becomes ice, it compresses. The Ice Age brought a decrease in sea levels, which diminished the shallow waters where baby megalodons hunted and protected themselves. On the other hand, it was impossible for adults to withstand lower temperatures. In that period, 36% of marine mammals, including whales, the main food of the megalodon, the few that remained moved to the poles, and the great shark was left without food because it could not go there. The famine forced it to eat its own offspring, and without them, there is no species. If the megalodon made your jaw drop, like it, subscribe to the channel, and activate notifications so you don't miss a single video. Until next time!